I get a lot of questions about how I do my gaming subtitles like this, so I'm going to show you how to do them completely for free inside of DaVinci Resolve. So that means you will not need the studio version at all. Anyways, this is going to be a really long video, so go grab your popcorn and let's get crafting. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this fast because I don't know how long my computer can handle having OBS and DaVinci Resolve open. So, first of all, make sure you have your media. So we have a video of JPerm talking about how we never speed cubes anymore. So the first thing that we want to do is actually render it. I know this might sound weird, but, but you'll see. I always use the YouTube settings, and I just set it as low as it can go. And now we just want to save it somewhere. So we'll just save it in downloads. Now we just want to render it. It's going to be really low quality because the quality of the video doesn't matter. It's just the audio that we need. Okay, so now we just need to open up Descript. Descript will allow us to get an SRT of the audio. That way we can import that back into DaVinci Resolve. This is basically what the, like the AI subtitles in DaVinci Resolve is, but this is free. Now, the free version of Descript only gives you one hour for your account. However, you can buy the premium version of Descript or, you know. So now we just want to go to a new project and then just do this. And now we need to find our recording. So it's this video. Now we just want to drop it in here. And then English and then transcribe and then just give it some time. The longer your audio, the longer it'll take to transcribe. Okay, so now it is done transcribing, so we want to go through and make sure there aren't any mistakes. And if you, there is a mistake, you can just click on or highlight some stuff and then correct it, but everything looks fine. So now we want to go to Publish, and go to Export, Subtitles, and then we want Subrip Titles, SRT. I always set everything to one because it gives you that like, really nice fast motion. And then we click on export. And now we just want to go to our downloads or wherever you want. And then just save that to there. Now we are done with Descript. So now we want to go back into DaVinci Resolve and find our SRT. And then we want to drag this into our timeline. It might take a second. So now we just want to go up to here. And now we just have our subtitles, but you can't change subtitles to text plus and text plus is what allows us to add all those like cool, like pop ins and motion blur and stuff. So that's the next step. And now the next step is we need to install Taquito's script. Now I don't take any credit for making this. Go check out Taquito in the description below. I will link his GitHub in the description below so you can download it. But we have resolve script. So what we want to do is we will just go to our desk we will drag this to our desktop now we just want to open with Windows Explorer and then we can just drag this back to our desktop this folder this only will work for Windows now so if you're running Mac then I guess you can't do this but you could convert them manually but that's no fun anyways this is going to take a long time three days later okay so now it has finally been unzipped so what we want to do is actually close out of DaVinci Resolve Oh, darn it. My sister changed my background again. Oh, she's so silly. Now we just want to click on this. I can't read that. I don't know what it says. Now we just want to click more info, run anyway. It won't hurt your computer. Don't worry. At least I don't think it will. And now we get this. What do you do with this? You're probably asking. Well, you want to go and click resolve launcher. And then we want to click on resolve. We need to launch resolve using this. So that way we can actually access the script. Now, since my computer's slow, it's going to take forever to start this up. You should go listen to this song. It's actually really good. I don't know how I would know that because it's not like I watched that show or anything or watch that song. Well, anyways, here we go. We have to move this out of the way. Move this, now we just want to open this up. And we want to go to workspace, scripts, or console, sorry, go to console. And we drag this into your console. All, now we're done, so we can click out of here and then go back to here. You want to click that and then click on Resolve again. So now it's going to start up DaVinci Resolve again. Now we'll actually have access to using Taquito's script. And then we want to go to our subtitles project. 
And then if we go to workspace, scripts, we now see that we have RS and we have access to all of these things. So we will be using the subtitle to text plus, but the first thing we have to do is actually animate our subtitles. So we want to go to effects, just closed out of that for a bit. Don't actually close it because then that's just not good. So we want to grab ourselves a little text plus, drag it up here and we will take this straight into Fusion. So now I'm just going to animate it. I will show you how I usually animate these. I'm not going to show the entire process of me animating this because the video would be too long and literally nobody wants to watch me animate some text. But if you really want to watch me animate some text, I'll link an uncut video in the description of me animating the text. I'll also link my template in the description for free if you're lazy. It is made for 60 FPS, but if enough people want a 30 FPS or 24 FPS template, I'll make those too. Okay, so now we have animated our subtitles. So we have a transform for that pop in. We have a camera shake. So we just kind of get that little like, like that. And we have our drop shadow just to add a little bit of a drop shadow to it. That's kind of what a drop shadow is for. So now we have to do one more step. So that way the animation can carry over to each different subtitle. So we want to go to everywhere that we keyframe something. Let's go to the first frame right click on this little carrot insert and we want to add a key stretcher to it so we have to do that for every single one that we animated with keyframes that should be good so now what we want to do is stretch this as long as our subtitles are select the text and all the subtitles and then go to workspace scripts rs subtitle to text plus now, if you want to change everything to actually be English, you can go over to this thing, go to Lang, and use English, and click Set. I think it requires a restart, so a restart of DaVinci Resolve, that is. So now we want to select our subtitle layer, which is subtitle 1, and then our video layer with our text is going to be video 2. So we just select video 2, and then you can change the color of what the text will come out like. And then it uses shortcuts. So if you have changed any of your shortcuts, make sure you write them in right there. This is like a clean install of DaVinci Resolve. So I've not changed any of the shortcuts. So it's all good to go. So now we just wait and it's just going to like cut up all of our text. This is a lot faster than manually doing all this. Also, you won't need to launch Resolve with this script every single time. Only when you want to use the, the tools that it has. And there we go. And as you can see, it also deleted the empty areas. So now if we get this out of the way, we can just close that. Make sure that you can just click this button to hide that. So this is going to like play our subtitles. And we can actually just, since we're done with this, we can just delete that track. We don't really need it anymore. So now our subtitles will play. But as you can see, they're all kind of like right in the center. And let's say we want to move all of them down, but we don't want to do that manually. What you can do is select all of them and then right click and then new compound clip, create. And now you can just move the Y down a bit. So there we go. And there you have it. Thank you for watching until the end. You are now an absolute gaming legend. Here's There's the final so product if you would like to see it. I will also link my text template in the description if you want to download it because you're lazy and you don't want to make one. I get it. I usually make videos about Minecraft server development, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know and I'll make more videos like it. If you guys have any issues at all with this or just want to talk with me, feel free to join my Discord. But until next time, I will see you on the other side. I can't believe my com computer did not fry while making this video.